Hello, Eric Orris at Food of Forge. Um, a lot of people have a lot of opinions about knife steels, what's best, uh, myself included, though I think personally that the correct knife steel is the knife steel that's correct for the job. There's one steel we always discount, um, and for good reason, uh, it is 4140. Um, I don't think it's enough for a knife, to be honest, to make a good quality, long-lasting knife. However, I've never made a knife out of it, so we're gonna try this once. I have here a piece of LSS 4140 made by Latrobe Specialty Steel Company. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn this into a full video eventually on YouTube, but we're gonna make a knife out of this. And I thought maybe we'd just throw it through the ABS journeyman test and just see how far we can push it. Just see if we can get enough to pass that test out of it. Just for fun, again, no, uh, no time I'd make a knife out of 4140 for any purpose to speak of. But since I've never done it, I figured, what the hell, let's give it a chance. Anyway, thanks. Hope you enjoy the journey with me. Have a great day.
normally add a hardness right out of the fire, but we don't want any alibis for this particular 4140 blade since we're doing the test with it. So this 4141 just cool till about a thousand degrees, which is when it turns black. Lots of fire. And then we're just gonna let it air cool from there as long as we get the fire out on it. That's about it. Nice and hard, didn't crack, and we'll go to temper next. All right, so I went ahead and I threw a handle on this thing, and uh, it's pretty crude, I gotta admit, but we are just gonna destroy it, so I didn't wanna get too crazy. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start putting edge on this thing. Um, we're gonna run it up pretty high for this test, so starting just here on 600, just to start bringing it to a full edge. So yeah, so, Start sharpening and uh, pretty soon we'll start cutting some stuff and destroying this thing and see how it does. Anyway, thanks. Okay, so there's the first test, the one inch rope cut, and you can see it did that just fine. Um, though I'm pretty sure you could pass that with mild steel or with uh, wrought iron, just about keenness of edge and edge geometry more than the quality of the steel. And we'll move on to the next one. This one takes a little bit more work and a little bit more time. Um, I have to chop through a two by four twice with the blade and then it has to shape hair afterwards. So we'll go ahead and just get started. This will be a bit. Just a life a little easier. And I've done this holding on to it before for the real test, but just want to speed us up a little bit. That's one. Not the best mounting position, I suppose. <laughs> That's two. So now we've got an edge. If we look at it here, we'll see there's no chipping or anything on this 4140 blade. It still seems to be in pretty good shape. I'd say right around here is where I've got the most wear on it. So that's where we attempt to shave hair. And I'm not a very hairy guy on the arms particularly, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit. And you can see there his hair coming off. 
it's just light and blonde because I'm light and blonde. Um, but it does shave hair, so. Though it's, I mean, it's just getting it done. It's not like a stellar win, but we're pretty damn close. And I wouldn't be surprised. Well, there's, it's definitely shaving hair, so I'm going to call it a pass, though I would call it a borderline pass. I'm going to try to get off my leg quick. There we go. Definitely leg hair there. A little hair your legs and arms. So that's a pass. Again, maybe borderline, but it's still a pass. Okay, this one I'm a little worried about, but I always am worried about this one. Um, the bend test. I left this 4140 a little bit uh, hard because I know it does get a little more fracture prone whenever it's heat treated over a certain level, and it might break. This would be a little too deep for the test to pass normally, but like bending and stuff. <laughs> We're well past, I think, now. Oh, there we go. So we did damage the handle, uh, but I did just use cheap, regular wood for the handle. But as you can see, that little sucker it doesn't really want to break. Um, it's taken quite a curve. I'm going to go ahead and get back on it. You just see, like, this, my handle failed there a little bit because it's just regular cheap wood. We'll put it back in, get back on it, and we're just going to go far and see if it snaps. I'd say to probably pass the freaking test. I'm amazed by that, to be perfectly honest with you. So 4140, um, I wouldn't suggest it. You'd have to be pretty good at heat treating, but um, I think the 4140 could pass the ABS journeyman test. I still don't think it's the best deal in the world for a knife, but I bet it's a whole lot better than a lot of our ancestors had a couple hundred years ago. So just a few closing thoughts. You know, um, it's kind of decided to do this for fun, just to see what would happen with it, because I didn't know how 4140 would actually perform on it. Um, and if it had failed, it would have just purely been my failure, I think, or else the material not being sufficient, but not any kind of indication, of course, on the steel itself. It's not really built for that. No one intended me to make a knife out of it and try to destroy it. I was pretty impressed with how it handled. Um, roped, Cut, of course, great, but that's more geometry and keenness and is on a fresh blade. The chop went great, which I expected. It held a lot more ed edge than I expected, though, and it shaved hair off my leg pretty efficiently once I was smart enough to shave hair off my leg instead of off my arm. Um, and then the bend test, I had some failure on my handle because I just used cheap junk wood I had laying around. I don't even know what it is. Um, but no real damage at all to the steel other than just plastic deformation everywhere. There's no cracking, sorry. And this little chewing on the edges from whenever I slid the cheater bar down at the end and tried to really torque it to see if I could break the thing. Uh, I did not manage to do such. It's just happy to bend itself into a banana. Um, so really, I'm kind of surprised and impressed. Uh, that's 
pretty wild stuff. Again, as I said in the other video, I wouldn't suggest you use it for the journeyman test. I'm not sure that that's really a good usage of your time or the best material to work with, especially if you're not pretty experienced with heat treating all kinds of different steels. But I think you can pass the test with it if you're good at heat treating, and that's not really at all what I expected to happen. I thought it was going to do pretty well, but I think we're going to have a pass. But anyway, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the journey. Um, apparently I can't speak for the rest of the day, um, but I hope you enjoyed the journey with me. Um, this will just pretty much show up at the end of the long YouTube video. So hopefully you checked it out. Um, give me a follow if you would. Thanks. Have a good one.